Hey guys, um, so exciting news. I was actually able um, able to go to the World Natural Hair Show today hosted by Black Earth Products or Talia Wajid. Um, so I had a really good time today. I was, it was really nice. I wasn't that disappointed about what was going on. Um, I was there from about 10.30ish to about 1.30. Um, I actually ended up discovering that another one of my friends actually ended up um, going to the hair show. And so I actually ended up kind of giving her a walking tour of what was going on. But anyway, let me go ahead and get with this review because I'm not trying to make this more than one video. Okay, so originally when I got there, there was this huge line to get tickets. Like huge. And I was just like, are you serious? Like I thought it would be like you come in and give you a ticket and you go in but no it was a long line but finally i guess um maybe this is what they were planning to do a long you know they had people walking around for cash and giving you you know you had a chance you had the money they gave you this the the band and you just went in and of course the the setup was in a huge hall with like a million and one different vendors that you had um it was not just hair of course the clothing and accessory people were there uh, just, just a lot of different people were there. Um, of course, the major four vendors that were there were Miss Jessie's. Now, let me guys, let me tell you something. Miss Jessie's, the people they had there, they could be drug dealers because they were pushing, 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 pushing a product, like pushing. And I don't know if I've told you guys, but I pretty much am not a fan of Miss Jessie's. I've never tried it before, but it's just I just don't agree with all the ingredients in there. And on top of that, you charge me an arm and a leg for. The ingredients so no so I was just like but I must give them their props they had people pushing a product they had little bags to give you guys to put your stuff in um, and not only that they had like men with their shirts off that were painted straight black with Miss Jessie's emblem on it so they were really trying of course they had a demonstration going on too um, then of course there was a big Jane Carter table um, somebody was telling me that she was, they were selling her stuff for cheap, cheap, but it was too much going on. And like I said, my local beauty supply store has Jane Carter. Um, so that's that. Of course, Talia Wajid was there. Um, she was, I guess, fighting back with Miss Jessie's because she had her own bags. Miss Jessie had like gift bags, but they were for Talia giving out these little recyclable bags like that you can keep using. You can keep using this bag. So I got my Talia Wajid's bag, dumped all my other stuff from Miss Jessie's out, and threw everything else away, including Miss Jessie's little gift bag. So I was very happy I got my little bag, okay? Anyway, um, and of course, she was doing demonstrations, too, and answering up on she. I don't know if she was there herself. I'm not sure what she looks like, but they had the people that were giving the demonstrations. And then, of course, Uncle Funky's daughter was there. Um... Believe it or not, I did not get any hair products at all today. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it myself. I'm not going to get hair products because I would have spent like a million, million dollars. However, there are some products that I do want to try um, that I got information on. Um, the first one would be Jerish. I think I'm saying this right. Jerish. Um, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Um, they have a website. Um, I was really interested in them because they had like this hair mask that looked pretty good. They had some honey gel stuff that looked really, really good. I mean, their stuff is 100% natural, so you guys know I'm a, just a sucker for that. So, I mean, and they had a really good product to spray. It looked like they had some um, curling um, jelly type stuff that kind of looked like... Um, mirror gel mirror gel, mirror curl or whatever uh it kind of looked like that to me in my opinion um then there was the bamboo hair system um this is them and um in their system they have a peppermint scrub shampoo a lemon meringue twist a mango mask and a peppermint cooling mist so i'm really I'm really psyched about seeing what their prices are like and what they have to offer. And then there's another line that will be coming out in two weeks called Entwine. And this is them. And so they, of course, they have their system. And in their system, 
There is the creme gelé or gel, whatever, styler, butter cream or creme, whatever, hydrator, creme de la mode, and Moroccan argan oil. So there sounds really good, really great. Um, all natural, I think, to 100% natural as well. Um, some other things that I saw that I would really love to push on you guys is third generation jewelers. I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys my non-hair purchases today. I got this ring. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Let me pack it up a little bit. It's really cute. I mean, they had to stretch it out for my big old fat finger, but it's really cute. It's really simple. They had a lot of other great metal works there. It was, it was really awesome. Then, um... They are actually doing a survey, um, I guess, somewhere for natural and relaxed hair. So if anybody's interested in giving their opinions, um, they're actually, and it's going to be done in May 2010, and you'll get paid for it. And I'll, like, post the link for um, the the website or whatever. So that was that. Um, oh, and they want you to be within the ages of 20 to 55, so... So once again, it's just, um, we'll be conducting consumer research in May 2010 with women who have natural hair of all textures or relaxed hair. Hair may be colored. So I'll do that as well. Now, like I said, I got this ring from Third Generation Jewelers. They have a website too. They were really, um, they were really nice. They were willing to barter. They didn't bother with me, but I'm not going to lie. Unless I'm, like, really gung-ho about something, I suck at bothering. I just, I suck. Um, but then I went to Uncle Funky's Daughter. Now, I am interested, don't get me wrong, I am very interested in trying Uncle Funky's Daughter. But they had some great little shirts. So, and it was in plus size. What? So, here's the front of the shirt I got. And it says, of course, Uncle Funky's Daughter. And then if you turn it around, it says... Relaxer $65, flat iron $55, embracing my beautiful, kinky, natural hair, priceless. So at some point, this shirt will be worn this week. I loved it. It was cute. They had other odes to chocolate women and things like that that I know my sister would love. And not only that, they had a, a shirt that said relaxers are evil. I thought it was so funny. Um, and then another um, small apparel line, which is called Be Natural Apparel. I'm sure you can look it up on the website. Um, I just loved this shirt. It was so simple. It was like $15. It was so simple, but I loved it. And then, of course, it's so sad. I am envying the girl with the big fro that I wish to have one day. Okay? So, like I said, the only disappointing thing I could say about the, the hair show was that um there 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 wasn't a lot of samples there are a lot of testers but not samples that you could take home and use on your own time maybe it's because of the time i got there maybe it's because of the first day who knows i won't be going there the next day because i have to go to work but uh, overall it was a really good experience it was nice to see so many different hair types hair just what they did with their hair i mean it was it was <clears throat> It was it was very very nice. Um, I would definitely go next year as as well too. So I mean those were my thoughts and um, yeah feel feel free to comment um, or whatever or give me more information if you guys have tried any of these products I've just named please let me know. I definitely 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 would would love to know you guys' opinion. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna tuck it in for the night. It's been a long day. So bye.